Hey guys, Monkey here. I'm here today to review Transformers Legacy. Oh, wait, one second. Something ain't right with this guy. Give me just a moment. Uh, there we go. Transformers Legacy Kickback. Kickback here is a grasshopper based off of the design, but you could also incorporate his little blade pieces and make a thorax for him. And, well, since I already have them right next to me as well, let's, oh my goodness. Alright, got him, uh, transformed. Uh, the thorax design was meant for our locust friend, uh, kick, not kickback, ransack. Along with that, since, you know, I already got these two, might as well toss in, uh, bombshell, or hard shell? One of the two, I can't remember right now. I think it's Bombshell. But yeah, you know, it's a bit of size comparison between them. Move these guys off to the side. Uh, where is it? I had one for size comparison. One second. Okay, I can't... S oh, yeah, here he is. Uh, Optimus Prime. Our Vo a Voyager class compared to our Deluxe class. No. Not really a fair comparison. One second. I meant to say leader class. There you go. Much more of a fair comparison now. Uh, but yeah. Let's pull these guys out of the way. And pull him off the screen. And with that, we're going to talk about his alt mode a bit. Kickback is a grasshopper, obviously. With little details like the wings, which I do really like. Nicely detailed. Along with that, you know. Grasshopper legs, arms. Then the little uh, antennas that actually move. Oh, there you go. Kickback is a Decepticon, as you can tell by his logo up there. And he is uh, an Insecticon, more accurately. That's also why, you know, there's multiple bug bots, such as these two, as you can see. Now, Ransack being one of those uh, special editions, while Hard Shell here is uh, like a stag beetle, not stag beetle, rhino beetle. So, yeah, you know, woo. But, yeah, that's kind of it. What I have to say for her is uh, bug mode. So, yeah, robot mode time. Pull. Pull his thorax out, separate them into his swords, pull his blaster out, and put it there. And now this is where we start. For me, I like to flip around the wings, then flip down the face panel. Come on. There you go. Turn the head around, flip out the fists. Strain out the arms, rotate the bug feet, and push them down like so. Then push them in. Then you want to flip down the feet, strain out the legs. And if you want, you can peg the swords in right here and here. You could also do this for the bug mode. And then give him his gun. Though the box art, or not box art, but promotional art from what I've seen in some cases, shows us having his blades on his arms, like so. So yeah, there is Kickback. This review is going to be a lot shorter than the others, more or less because, well, this guy's transformation is simple and I don't have much to say about him. But yeah, you know, Kickback. Out of all the Insecticons I currently have... Kickback is currently my favorite because of just how good he looks with how little he does. I wish I could say the same for other characters like Bombshell here, you know. Bombshell is neat, but there's problems with him. As you can see, one second.
For example, uh, part of his, his legs are painted. These gray bits right here are black plastic painted gray. I hate that because it's chipping already because of how it transforms. Plus, you know, this snapped on me. So yeah, you know, he doesn't have as much of that, you know, pow kind of energy with him. Like, yeah, he's neat, but he doesn't do what Kickback did. And I don't know what it is about Kickback that I like more about him, but I just do. I like Kickback more than I like Bombshell. And I think it's more or less because Kickback... I think it's just because he feels more satisfying, you know? Like, it, it's it's weird to say, but he feels a lot more satisfying to play with, you know, transform back and forth than Bombshell here. Bombshell is, well, I'll say he's Bombshell, you know? I don't get much out of him. I really don't. He's neat, but... That's about it. You get him because you want to complete the Insecticons. That's why I'm hoping, if I do manage to, get a whole, my hands on that Chop Shock and Barrage. Chop Shock. Chop Shop and Barrage 2-pack that's releasing real soon. I want to experience those figures and see why I'm hearing good things about them already before they're released. Because I do want to see how they compare to this guy. Chop Shop and Barrage are just this mold, different colors, and some retooling. I want to see if they're better than this guy because of those bits of retooling. But yeah. But yeah, let's say arms go full 360. Arms go out that far. There's a, wrist, a bicep rotation. Wrist, no swivel, just down, up. Head, tilt, back, side to side. Looks up, looks down that far. Full 360. Waist swivel. Legs, legs go back that far. Forward that far. Thigh swivel. Knees bend that far. Ankle pivot and toe goes in and out. And, you know what? That That's it for today's video. He's simple, and I love him because of it. But yeah, that ends today's video. I'm sorry that's not like the others, you know. But it's how he is, and I like him for that. So yeah, I'll see you guys next video. Monkey out. Woo!